We all make mistakes. However, the real key is whether we can learn from them. In this video, we provide some examples of actual sufferers of anxiety and ADHD who converted their mistakes into something fruitful. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD so they can express their true competencies in life. As mentioned, we can all learn from our mistakes. However, you may be wondering, does this really help anxiety and ADHD sufferers? Absolutely! Take Angelina. She's a subscriber who shared with us that she always enjoyed playing jazz on the piano. When she started playing as a young girl, she was very shy and got anxious whenever she felt she was being scrutinized. She could play well in private, but she made all kinds of mistakes when playing in front of people. What did she do? Well, often when her parents' friends would come by the house to visit, they would ask her to play for them. So, since she considered her parents' friends to be smart people, she decided to ask them to tell her how they overcame their biggest challenges in life. Many of them were happy to offer her advice. She boiled it all down to not focusing on the people around her, but to instead focus on playing the piano. She applied this suggestion to her routine when she'd play the piano. This worked. She found that over time, she could learn to play with or without people watching her. This routine reduced her anxiety and shyness because she knew that she could do it and it increased her confidence. Another example comes from Yacenta who suffers from ADHD. She diligently wrote down all of her challenges and thought hard about how she could develop accommodations to assist her in her work and life in general. This required her to be honest about her challenges. However, this provided her with information she needed to improve, which was the first step in making positive changes. In many ways, this was the same process that Angelina had followed. So, let's talk about you. Can you do this? Of course you can! Think about how these people dealt with their challenges in the examples. Try spending some time thinking about how you can learn from your own challenges. We, as individuals, are often much more resourceful than we initially think. Don't be afraid of mistakes, because fear of them can hold you back. Instead, use this information to your advantage. Thank you for watching this video. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter. As usual, we look forward to presenting a new video in our series next week.